Hi, I'm Terry Lee, and thanks for your interest in my song, I Hide Myself in You. I wanted to introduce you to the acoustic guitar part, uh, which is the primary part in the uh, instrumentation of the song, as per my recording. Um, available on iTunes, Google Play, I Hide Myself in You. You can just search Terry B. Lee and find everything that I've posted there that's uh, recorded. Um, playing with the uh, capo on the second fret, uh, whenever you're putting a capo on your uh, acoustic guitar, I uh, don't mean to um, speak down or anything like that, just Make sure you get the capo right at the, uh, the fret, and uh, it, that way it doesn't elongate the string and uh, risk actually, you know, detuning the guitar in, uh, uh, inappropriately. If you're a worship leader, um, I use this rolling capo, you know, just rolling my thumb on the back of it, um, and um, I don't use a capo a lot, although, but um, it's sort of a sure fast way to be able to throw your capo on and, and get it uh, in tune. Um, I had myself in use is just a prayer. It might precede uh, a sermon. It could be done as a uh, performance piece, or it could be in, in, invite the congregation to sing it. Um, uh, it's in the key of A. I hide myself in you. Cover me completely. So that gives you a little bit of idea of the uh, the beginning of the song. Uh, I'm finger picking, obviously. I let my nails grow a little longer on my right hand so that uh, I get a little more attack on the strings. Uh, but I'm using uh, an A chord, which I'm using the G chord formation there, just an open voicing uh, with the E here on the B string. Um, right hand, I've just assigned a, a, a finger to each string, my thumb on the top here. there on the top end, which is very simple. It's just uh, A, G, B sharp, F sharp. That's all that is. I hide myself in you, cover me completely. I need to be made whole, so I hide myself in you. So just walking through the chords there, A going from an A over C sharp uh, to a B over D sharp. Um, Examine every part. Hope you can see that well enough to be able to figure it out. Um, Spirit come live to me. Ready now my heart. Um, that's really the sum of the song, other than just to say that um, the invitation to be a follower of Jesus is an invitation to um, surrender myself to him, acknowledging that I've made a mess of uh, trying to live life on my own, under my own terms, and my own ways. And increasingly I want Jesus' likeness uh, to be evident in me. And uh, that's a process, a process of consecration, of giving ourselves to him. Um, uh, word of God, read me, examine every part, uh, draws into uh, the, the idea that we often approach the Bible as a, a textbook. You know, I'm going to study it, I'm going to dissect it, I'm going to master it. Uh, when really, it, I mean, there's, a, there's certainly value in study, but what I most want is I want it to read my life and to examine the parts that need to be refined and re in order that increasingly I would look like Jesus. So that's my little sermonette on the, uh, the meaning of the lyric uh, in this song. Um, and then that prayer at the end. Let me be approved, studied and effective, proud to be your faithful servant. Cause I hide myself in truth Lord, I hide myself in you That's the song. I hope it's a blessing to you. Thanks for, for taking this time.